This is Hayes Q Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in and make yourself at home. Please hit the subscribe button, smash the like. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back. Make yourself at home, get your shoes off. You know the routine. Just trying to stay in shape, playing a little b-ball with the boy. This week, I actually took a trip trip out to West Tampa, East Tampa, out of the Tampa area. Hit a couple pawn shops, big lots, and as usual, pick some stuff up eBay, Amazon. But before I get into that, I'm not one of these collectors that just collects movies. I'm one of these weirdos that actually watches the movies. So I'd like to share with you a couple of things I've actually been watching. To kick off what I've been watching, I actually saw this streaming. I don't have the physical copy of it quite yet. Is M. Night Shyamalan's Old. I'm a fan of M. Night Shyamalan. I think he is a great director as far as building suspense in a movie. Sometimes his endings kind of fall a little flat, but I think he's a great suspense builder. Very suspenseful movie with old. It takes place majority, the majority of the movie takes place on an island. And I don't like to give spoilers away, but special things happen on this island that really make you appreciate time. And it gives you a different perspective on time and how time is perceived by different people from different ages. So get the opportunity. Check out M. Night Shyamalan's Old. Really enjoyed that one. Next we have Primal with Nicolas Cage and Bamka Jensen. Jen Hansen? I just call it Bamka. This is a story about Nicolas Cage who is a collector of exotic animals or a poacher, whichever you want to call him. And he's in pursuit of this mythical or allegedly mythical creature and you think that's a story but the story is actually him transporting this creature onto the mainland and what happens throughout the trip like the movie a lot of suspense it's not what I expected I was thinking more about the animal but it was actually more about the trip Nicolas Cage is kind of contained he's not over the top but he's still Nicolas Cage very fun movie Bomka oh my god what the f fuck did she do to her face? I used to think Bamka was so sexy. She's had so much plastic surgery, her face looks like wax. I'm just like, wow. But, fun movie, lots of suspense. Damn, Bamka, why you have to mess up your face like that? But, Primal, get the opportunity, Nicolas Cage, I think you'll like it. My next pick is actually a Dollar Tree pick. The Devil in the Dark. Low budget, I think it's a momentum distribution low budget horror movie more suspense thriller than actual horror it's somewhat about the rivalry between two brothers and their relationship with their father one brother having a close relationship with their father and I guess in a men's one brother goes back to his hometown after 15 years and they go on a camping trip and it's what happens on the camping trip that makes the story Special effects, so-so, but the suspense and the actual storyline is pretty good. It moves very slow, but at a pace where it keeps it interesting. And once it actually gets into the plot, that's where it really starts picking up. Get the opportunity. If you, have it, if you see it at your Dollar Tree, The Devil in the Dark, I think you'll like it. My last pick, and I have to kind of tell the truth and shame the devil, is... Is a Dollar Tree pick, Vampira. <sighs> this movie was hot, steaming garbage on a very humid 95 degree Florida day. Horrible, horrible movie. I, I have to, I have to tell the give the good with the bad. Horrible movie. The plot is about some monster hunters that are hunting this one specific monster. It's a vampire type monster that at nighttime separates from her legs <clears throat> and flies off and does her business but she has to have someone to watch her legs when she's gone low budget 
special effects of like there was something uh, the early 80s the the action scenes like look worse than Billy Blake's Tybo. It's just a horrible, horrible movie. It's like an hour and twenty three minutes I'll never get back in my life. It's so bad. You probably want to see it just to to see how bad it was. So if you get the opportunity and you don't like bad movies, you probably want to skip Vampira. If you want to see it just like a car wreck, you just gotta kinda I know it's horrible, I just gotta see. Is that type of movie Vampira? Now, without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll give you a couple more minutes of me schooling my kid in basketball. Needless to say, after I played my back and my neck and my back, I was hurting like hell. I'm not a young man anymore, but I'll catch you on the other end. I'm out in West Tampa on Kennedy Street, close to downtown, close to the airport at Cash America on Kennedy. I've never been out here, so Saturday morning, let me see what they have in the movie in the movie section. Sometimes you have to know when to say no. She was gonna try to charge me five bucks a piece for the movies. I was like, nah, that's too much. And she's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I'll charge you five bucks for both of them. So sometimes you have to know when to walk away from a deal. And I, I got the pretty much the deal that I wanted. I'm gonna check out a couple more places and then head on to the black day. Hit up this old school Dollar Tree. I think it's all big lots and a value pawn. Get those two and call it a day. God, that had to be the darkest Dollar Tree I've ever been in. And they had the same bullshit. I hit Big Lots and Value Pond and head back, help my kid with his math and get my shit little hoops. There's Dollar Tree over there. This whole little mall area. A little sad mall. Let's see if Big Lots, if Big Lots has, has any anything different than the big lots near my house.
I'm out on Dale Mabry at a new value pond I haven't been out to before. Hop in here real quick and uh, take care of the other things I have to do for the day. Okay, I'm going to open the doors, but it appears that they're closed, so I guess I won't be stopping here. Inflammatory, and I have a heating pad on the back of my back, though. But nevertheless, still with that ass. But not a big pickup this week. Only got a couple from the pawn shop, and I have some pickups from eBay and Amazon. Some I've actually been storing for probably a couple months. Kind of taking it easy right now, preparing for Black Friday trying to save some bucks hoping hopefully some of the things in my cart and Amazon I can get a discount on but let's jump into what I purchased at the pawn shop and as I mentioned before they tried to charge me five bucks a piece and I actually got out paying five bucks for both of them first one I actually have the sequel to this I picked up at Dollar Tree. It's a sequel to Unbroken, so I'm some of a completionist. I wanted to have the first and the second one, Unbroken. And I have the Blu-ray and the DVD, Unbroken. And this is a universal release. The other one I picked up have a bootleg of this upgrading to the blu-ray nicole kidman and hugh jackman in australia and the 20th century fox i believe at one time i probably had the original blu-ray and some I mean, the original dvd and somehow the dvd turned into a bootleg copy don't know how that keep keeps happening ending up in my my collection but upgrading to australia and this is what i picked up at Cash America. I didn't find anything at Big Lots and Value City, Value Pond. Asshole, didn't even open up. Probably too much meth last night. Anywho, the next one I have, just picked this up, eBay auction. Nick Nolte, Shaquille O'Neal, Blue Chips. This is a, a recent release to Blu ray, I believe uh, this year. And I had a bootleg copy of the DVD, so upgrading to this. And this is. If I recall correctly, loosely, very loosely, kind of on Shaquille O'Neal at LSU. But it's more about Nick Nolte, though. Nick Nolte, Shaquille O'Neal, Blue Chips. Let's see. It's another new release. Accepted. I actually had a DVD of this. Fun movie. Fun, cute movie. Kind of a 90s, I believe, 2000, early 2000 movie. This is a Mill Creek, Creek release. Mill Creek keeps killing them with the releases. I love Mill Creek. Accept it. This one I've been seeing for a while. Actually, yeah, I got this on Amazon, I believe. I, Tanya. Um, I think this is kind of a spoof somewhat on, uh, I can't think of the, the ice skater, the one that I think uh, did Nancy Kerrigan in, I believe. I, I can't remember, but this is a very funny looking comedy, I, Tanya, Universal release. And if you think about that chick, that, that trailer trash ice skater, let me know, I can't think of her name, uh, who this is kind of loosely based on, I, Tanya, and I have to see if the code is good. I have the Blu-ray and the DVD. 
nice little pink colors. I, Tanya. Next, a lot of universal releases in this batch. Bring It On with Kirsten, D Kirsten Dutz and the lovely but yet little disturbed Gabrielle Union with Mary Dwayne Wade. And I believe this girl passed. I'm not sure why. Very cute young lady. Universal release again. Bring it on. And I think I have all these. Most of them are DVD. And I think this one and the last one are the only Blu rays I have. Bring it on. And the last one, I've been saving, saving this one for a while. This is a Digibook 3D exclusive Iron Mask. I believe this is probably probably supposed to be released in theaters, but because of the pandemic, it went straight to basically straight to a DVD Blu-ray. Um, haven't seen it in 3D yet. 3D disc here. Got the regular Blu-ray. We have the very lovely book here. However, it's all in Dutch. I believe it was Dutch or German. Der Erzdeal. That sounds German. Nicola Gogolos Gestisist. Or Ausner das Kalmatel. Kalmatel. Gogol. My Dutch or German, whatever this is. Obviously sucks. Die Deutsch Stim. Die Premier. I'm probably Dutch. This. Yeah, Dutch and English, though. So. But haven't seen this. Looking forward to watching some 3D. Iron Mask with Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And this is my post Halloween pickup. Give me a second. I won't take that long. Let me get these out the plastic, get the artwork in the folders. Put this where it belongs and get you people on your merry way. Hold on. Have everything scanned in. Scan into my CLZ Movies app. That's Season Charlie, Alvin Lima, Season Zebra. everything scanned in ready to go back in its proper place as usual i appreciate you guys hanging out with me if you have subscribed yet what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button smash the like give me the big thumbs up other than that may the best of your past be the worst of your future everyone be safe peace